네, 안녕하세요. 하이콘과 블로스퍼의 수장을 맡고 있는 김태현이라고 합니다. 오늘 밤 너무 좋은 소식을 여러분들께 들려드릴 수 있어서 개인적으로 너무 감사하다는 말씀 드리고요. 저희 팀원들도 모두 여러분들께 감사를 하고 있습니다. 상장이라는 게 ICO 프로젝트의 끝은 아닙니다. 그러나 최소한의 참여자들에 대한 예의라고 생각합니다. 여러분들께서 함께 참여를 해주셔서 저희가 OKEX 투표에 성공적으로 마무리할 수 있었던 것 같습니다. 앞으로도 저희 하이콘 프로젝트를 많이 사랑해 주시고요. 여러분들의 기대에 부응하는 그런 좋은 뉴스와 좋은 프로젝트를 가지고 여러분들 같이 찾아뵙도록 하겠습니다. 다시 한번 오늘 금요일 밤이죠. 제가 아주 어, 환상적인 축제의 밤이 되셨습니다. 항상 감사드립니다. Hello guys, this is a guide how to use the Hikon wallet. So first you go on github.com slash team Hikon. Look at the repository called Hikon Core. Look at the releases and click latest release just to be extra sure and download the version which is compatible with your operating system. For me that's a Windows computer so I'm going to click this one right here. Okay, it's going to take probably 10 to 15 seconds to download. It depends on how quick your internet speed is. It's going to adjust the screen slightly so I can double click it. Okay, I'm opening this bundle. It zips, so I'm going to unzip it by taking it off the screen. As you can see, it's now unzipped. I'm going to minimize the zip file. I'm going to open this folder and then you're going to click launch. Now, if you're running a Windows, you might see this issue. Don't worry, it's new software, just run anyway. Now, what should happen is you're going to be asked to enter a password. My password for this will be a secret. And then you're going to be asked to answer it again. Now, what you will see is the Hikon Block Explorer pop up and a terminal will start syncing with the network as so you don't need to worry about the terminal being completely synced as you can see I'm 20 days behind but you can just get on and create a wallet so currently you'll have a mining wallet which will be your default wallet and that's going to be on your computer however you might want to create a new one so we're going to recommend that you create a new wallet let's click on Add wallet. Let's choose a wallet name. I'm going to call it test123. Let's click next. So here's your mnemonic phrase. I'd recommend copying this and pasting it into the browser so you can see it on the next page. I'll just modify the screen again. You've got to manually type this out and you've got to save it. Do not lose this mnemonic phrase. This is basically your private key. Think of it like a password. Okay, that looks good to me. Now you've got to type it in again. So. typing it in what you've got to do is keep this somewhere very safe I recommend basically printing it off laminating it making sure that you don't lose it alternatively you can save it on a word document not recommended keep it offline though I'm gonna paste it into this notepad for simplicity so click finish now you have essentially registered a new wallet but that's not the end of the story. Next, you've got to claim. So what does it mean to claim? Essentially, it means that you've got to attach your iCon.io account to this new wallet that you've just created. So we're going to get you to click claim. I have a dummy account set up. So I'm John Doe at johndoe.com. I'm going to click login. Let's see one more time. Perhaps. Okay, there 
made that work. And then this time you can actually paste it in, which is quite nice. Click Submit. So now that has been claimed. Nothing has happened. So how can you verify that now this wallet address is attached to your account? Quite simply, go on highcon.io and log in. So let's look at my John Doe at johndoe.com account. And log in. Look at the address that says your Highcon will be sent to this address. Oh, it's surprise, surprise, it matches. Okay, so that's what you need to do if you have just set up the wallet. It's quite simple actually once you've done it and seen the walkthrough. Some of you might be wondering though, what if I've already got a wallet from the initial ICO? Well, you can click on Recover Wallet. So if we do Wallet Recovery, which is here on the uh, top right of the screen, you have to enter the mnemonic phrase that you previously were given. Now don't worry if you don't have that, that's why we've shown you that you can just generate a new wallet. Now, just for the purposes of explaining this video, I'm going to do it one more time and I'm going to call it test1234. I've got a new mnemonic phrase. Because I'm generating a new wallet, I need a new mnemonic phrase. I'm going to copy it there, I'm going to type down the words. Okay, there we go, that looks like right to me. And one more time, you can type in these phrases. Now every time you make a new mnemonic phrase, you must write it down. Because once you click uh, on the claim button, that is where your Hikon ICO coins will be sent in the next distribution. Because we know that you own the private key, aka the mnemonic phrase, to this account that you've said claim on we can feel completely at ease that your funds are 100% safe. So if that looks right to me, hopefully that is correct. Okay, so I've just created a new wallet, as you can see, but it's not attached to my account. As you can see, John Doe, he needs his coins. So at the moment, I'm gonna click claim again. I'm gonna enter John Doe's email. And his password and I'm going to log in and then I'm going to paste in the mnemonic phrase that we just had and click submit and it should be done let's uh, refresh this page oh. ah yeah okay I've got to log out log back in maybe click cache too people like doing that So now you can see that the wallet I've created has been changed. This is my address. So I've done it twice in a row now. Hopefully this explains the process. If you need any more help, don't hesitate to let us know. So that was an eight minute process, but remember that I've done two wallets there from start to finish, including downloading the software and verifying my account. I hope you have a good day and we will see you on the other side on the exchanges.